Phosphorescence. Attention, tartaric acid can cause irritation of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract. Fluorescein can cause severe irritation of the eyes. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. 2 grams of tartaric acid and a small amount of fluorescein are added to a test tube. Then both substances are heated with a candle. A Bunsen burner can be used, but then it is way more easy to burn the compounds. The fluorescein then dissolves on the molten mass. At the end the test tube is turned sideways and rotated slowly to spread the mass. Further heating is not required from this point on, because it stays liquid for quite a long time. Then it is left to cool down. When a flashlight is pointed at the tube and removed quickly, a short afterglow is emitted. This is called phosphorescence. To increase the time of the phosphorescence, the test tube can be cooled down in the freezer. Then the effect lasts up to 10 seconds. The phosphorescence of fluorescein cannot be observed under normal conditions, but there are two methods to make it visible. First is to cool it down way below 0 degrees C, the other is to increase the viscosity of the environment. An example is the molten and then solidified tartaric acid. In the phosphorescence the electrons are raised into an excited state by the energy of the light. A part of these electrons then fall back into a metastable state. When these electrons fall back into the ground state, energy is released in the form of light. The time it takes for the electrons to fall back to the ground state can be quite different and very long. This causes the afterglow which can be shown in many different ways. This was the phosphorescence. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.